Before we dig into the nuts and bolts of Laravel, let's first zoom out and discuss what exactly happens when a request comes in. So let's imagine you run a local pizza delivery restaurant. When a person visits that URL, before the page is rendered, we first hit your server and load your Laravel app. Immediately, your application notices, okay, this is a request for the home page. Now in Laravel, it's really easy to associate any URI with a response of some form. We can register these in your routes file. So notice in this case, if the user makes a request for the home page, we will load a controller. And a controller is the next piece of the puzzle. A controller receives a request and provides a response. So in this case, the request is to load the home page of Larry's Pizza. Now how the controller goes about generating that response can take many forms, and we'll talk about this a good bit. But for now, let's say the controller must delegate to fetch the necessary information from your database. Maybe all the pizzas you provide, all the specials, all the toppings. We can use what's known as an eloquent model for this. Now, not only does an eloquent model provide a nice API for performing any number of SQL queries against your database, but it's also a location to store any domain-specific logic or business logic. Now, once the controller has delegated to the model, the next step is to load the view. Think of the view as what the customer or the user ultimately sees. It's the HTML portion of your code base. It defines the structure. It loads a CSS file. It references some JavaScript. Now, most importantly, the view receives the data from the controller and then renders it for the user. And that's it. That's a very zoomed out view of what happens when a request comes in. Now, admittedly, the more you stick around in this series, we'll discuss additional pieces of the puzzle. But for now, that should get you started. So once again, a request comes in, and we then, in your routes file, load the necessary controller that corresponds to that URI or that URL. The controller then delegates to load all the information necessary to provide a response. The view receives the data from the controller and then generates the HTML structure for the user. So in the next episode, let's zoom back in and start working on this puzzle.